Carolina is one of just two states where women can face criminal charges for illegally getting abortions. And now a group of state lawmakers wants to take that further and allow the state to impose the death penalty on women who undergo the procedure. Mary Green digging deeper for us, finding out directly from state house leaders if this bill could actually become law. That new bill would criminalize abortion as homicide, meaning women who undergo the procedure here in South Carolina could face a death sentence. This bill has more than a dozen sponsors in the state's House of Representatives, but Senate Republican leader Shane Massey told me it is not going to become law. What we've got over here is just, it's just a rogue thing that's going on over there. It's not going to have support in the House, I suspect. It certainly wouldn't have support over here. I mean, there's no way South Carolina is going to do that. But a decades old part of state code does criminalize women women who illegally get abortions. Right now, that's after about five and a half months into a pregnancy. Penalties for the misdemeanor charge escalate to up to two years in prison. An analysis by a California-based abortion access advocacy group found at least four women have been charged in the last 20 years under South Carolina's self-managed abortion ban. That includes a woman in Greenville last month. So this state is a place where if you are having a pregnancy outcome, you need to be careful about what you say and who you say it to because some folks will come after you. Earlier this year, Senate Republicans passed a ban on most abortions after around six weeks into a pregnancy. In that bill, senders also included a provision to repeal that existing part of state code that criminalizes women who get abortions. I mean, we wanted to make that definitive statement, right? But that's, that's not what we were going at. We wanted to stop abortion, but we weren't trying to put women in jail, who are, women who are in desperate situations in jail. Last month, House Republicans passed their own abortion bill, a ban from conception. While that bill did not add any new criminal charges for those who get abortions, they also voted down an amendment to repeal the criminalization already in the law. The House is where the new bill, the one that could impose the death penalty, is filed. In a statement, Republican Speaker of the House Merle Smith says the House has no intentions of taking this bill up. When the House passed pro-life legislation earlier this year, we made it very clear we were not in the business of criminalizing women. Democratic Representative Heather Bauer tweeted earlier this week that she plans to soon file another bill that would decriminalize getting an abortion. And we know in South Carolina with supermajorities, where there's a will, there's a way. They can pass this law if they want to. So they've all said they want to protect women. I would like to see it happen. I asked Senator Massey if he would support a standalone bill that would remove the current penalties on women who illegally get abortions. He told me he's open to passing decriminalization, but also believes the legislature needs to pass tighter restrictions on abortion as well. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. Currently, the House and Senate remain at an impasse between these two abortion bills, the ban from conception and that ban from six weeks, with neither chamber taking up the other's bill.